Okay, where's the mission anyways? Let me hide right here real quick and see where we have to go. Uh, deep Secrets of the Earth. Okay. That's level 21. What level am I? Level 23. Okay. I think I could forward... I could. Use R1 while aiming to notch an additional... We're definitely doing this, man. And then right after we're done with this, we're definitely going here to... Dude, that is sick. What does this do? Uh, we'll knock down machines faster. That's... That could come in handy, actually. Uh, so quests... I can't see it on the map. Oh god, it's it's really far. I mean, I guess we could go here and discover a couple places, but first I think I need to get some healing. Oh, there's a a thing here. We should probably quick save. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. I'm over here sneezing my life away. Yay, at least we got one back. Keep quiet now. I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel at this point. I, I think I'm okay with just one. So let's uh fast travel here, yes. Then we'll quick save it and we'll continue. It's really weird that this game's loading is kind of long, even on the PS5. Makes me wonder how long it would take on PS4 consoles. Okay, so which way do we go? That way. I'm trying to think, have we been here? Looks familiar, but at the same time, it doesn't. Come on. There's no way I'm not picking up healing supplies, man, because Save these for the trail. It's starting to get brutal. I see a healing over here. Two of them, actually. Okay, perfect. And now we can continue on in this direction. Because it seriously feels like there's death around every corner right now. So I definitely need my, my healing supplies. It's actually pretty imperative at this point. I'm actually happy that they're, it's not very difficult to find the healing supplies. Okay, cool. We got two. What is this? <clears throat> Luminous braiding. Can't carry more. I kind of want, I kind of want it. So that would be under... We have a lot of modifications. Resources, maybe? Uh... Alright, let's disassemble... All of this. And then let's see if I can pick it up. I don't think I'm... Okay, good. Well, that was cool. I really need to be careful, though. Because there's machines everywhere around here. And I'm not trying to die right now. Or use up the healing that I just spent all this time collecting. Can't be too prepared. I agree, Aloy. There's another one right here. This one doesn't seem to have anything special, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, we got another one right here.
Oh my god, this game blows me away how gorgeous it is. Oh no. Alright, it doesn't see me. Actually, you know what? I think I can run. I think they're too far f to see me in general. Clever. Did something see me? Oh, oh, oh god. What is that thing? Oh god, oh god. Oh my god, yep. Screw that. Holy crap, dude. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that was scary. We made it though. To here. Oh, it's starting to get pretty treacherous. God, I found this. What is that? They're too far. I think those are more of the same things, right? Oh no, that's a trampler. I need to be careful, man, because I'm getting into a, an area where there's a lot more big beasts that are very intimidating. Okay. Oh god, is that a chicken? It is, and unfortunately we have to cross that area. Campfire. It's literally right next to the chicken too. Okay. Okay, let's go in sneak mode. Quick save while literally getting through this bridge. Run! I think we made it. Okay, cool. We made it. Are these bad guys? No. Mad King Duran Semipalace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling from the West. Thanks for the history lesson. <laughs> but they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Good. What are they talking about? Oh, there's a quest right here. Let's activate it. Hello. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana. My sister. Oh. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's difficult. His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow. Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Good to know. Healer's Oath. That's sad. Alright, but let's go ahead and make our way into this city. This city looks pretty cool too, though. It's not as good as the Sun City or whatever it was called. Leave soon. Shut up, dude. Don't tell me what to do. Mm, perhaps. Let's see what you have. Weapons. I need a Lancer Horn. I thought I had one of these. Maybe not. So Fox Skin. I think that's rare. I think that's what I needed for the other thing. I think I'm just going to buy this bow. Just because I can and I'm clearly not using money. Yeah, I'm doing it. 
Uh, I'm not going to equip it, but I'm going to definitely keep it on me. Let me make sure I have it. Yeah, I have it. Does it tell you how much damage this does? Let me see. This does handling 161. Okay, so 16 and 36. Oh, wow. This is a lot stronger. If I'm understanding this correctly. Good. At least I got some stuff. I think I'm going to sell most of my resources. Hold on. Let me see. Well, for one... Uh, let's go ahead and do all of this. That's maxed. Okay, well I got all of that. I need a I need another weapon. Take a look at these wares. Actually, you know what? I'm going to equip it. Wait, hold on. No inventory, weapons. Yeah, let's equip it. Is there any mods that I could put on this that is worth it? I kind of want. I uh no. Tear coil handling. This one does twenty handling. So let's put in. Let's put in the twenty percent handling. We'll at least make it a little bit better. 20 damage, 10 damage. Yeah, we'll do the 10 damage. Twenty-nine, twenty-six. Alright, we'll just put that on. Wait, what? Is this a special kind of weapons? Or ammo? What is this? Tear blast arrow? Okay, so I don't have... This bow looks sick, though. Uh-oh. Oh, it's like a gladiator scenario. I bet you I'm gonna have to do this at some point. The sun. I'm willing to bet I'm gonna have to get in there and fight. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? Did I crash? Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Eloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Sure, if you say so. Look at these guys are training and everything. Man, that beast is loud. So Citadel. If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. I can't even You're hear not them. Make any shards by standing out here. I'll take this. That commander is really talking down on his troops. They're looking for one of their own. Should pay well. I'm I stand out like crazy. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. Oh, he's a little boy. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Oh, thank you. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. So, demonstrated wanton disregard for the we both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. 
So come see me while there's still time to save him. Okay, you've piqued my interest. The way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First Don't time in the Citadel, try. gotta see the huh. sun ring from on high. You will find well, the Kestrels. As the apostates. Ah, they sure. want us to see this, boy. Okay. It makes quite an impression. Let's do this then. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Yeah, like literally. Do I? Oh God, dude. Well, that that didn't work out properly. At least I could climb back up there. Um. How do I get up there though? Man, I'm just screwing this up left and right. All right, you know what? I'm going to fast travel back to where I was. Where was I? I'm just going to have to fast travel because I really have no idea where I'm at right now. All right, good. It wasn't that way. Let's go up and back to the area that we were at the way the uh, we went the first time. Because legit, I have no idea what happened. Can you really trust savages to show loyalty to a car? Alright. It should be here. Right? I should be able to just jump on these. What in the world? Why doesn't it let me do it? I gotta take a look around because I don't see a way to climb. Huh. How am I supposed to get up there? I'm gonna back down before I do. Okay, I think this mission is going to be very annoying. No, 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 don't do this again. Oh. Okay, well, there's a... The other side of the tower. This. Look for a vent. Okay. Right now, I don't even care about the story. I'm just trying to figure out this climb. Okay, now what? Um. Wait, I'm supposed to go down? Oh god, that was close. Okay. Now what? Wait, what is this? Uh, auxiliary access hatch. Examine. I say you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Shoot! I've shown you the way in. But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. <laughs> I didn't ask you along for the ride. Are we... Are we close to the end of the game? I don't know. I'm heading down. 
I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hole for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. Malfunction. Uh -oh. Malfunction. Malfunction. You, me? you don't hear me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Elizabeth Snowback here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Do. Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. That sounds like it's gonna... Emergency venting authorized. Oh, it's working. That's not good. I guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Okay, then. Uh, explore the Project Zero Dawn Welcome facility? Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. Oh, snap! We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Will do. This is just text, I think. Don't really care for the text ones. Got some mushrooms. There is nothing here, is there? Oh, there's another thing over here. It's another text-based one, though. I think that's everything. Alright, let's go. Um, no, thank you. Oh god, this has got me pretty interested to find out what is going on, or what Zero Dawn is. I'd have to ditch something. No. Okay, we got another thing here. Proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. So which one? Where do we go? This way? All right. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. I should probably heal though. Where was this place? Just in case. A holographic theater. ZB01 data intact. Initiating playback. What's this? Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. What? Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, 
it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. Oh, snap. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. Oh, At best, snap. We've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies, lies designed to inspire millions of innocents what? to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light. Oh my into the god. Darkness. That is Paris. crazy. Out. Wow. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Oh my god, dude. This just got crazier than I could ever imagine. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? Oh god, okay. Let's go ahead and try to be sneaky for once. Can you like climb? There you go. Climb down. Let's go... Harvest arrow. Let's go with precision. Oh, we got something to listen to. There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. Hold on, I really want to... I really need more... Potions, man. Does that mean I gotta get rid of some, though? Actually, you know what? That's the big health. And then I got six of these smaller ones. Okay, never mind. Alright, how do I get out of here? So we have to go down here. Hold on, where? They're on the other side. Did I go around? Oh, I have to kill... No wonder. Okay, so I think it's probably... Better if I was to go up. I'm a little confused. I should have killed him when I was up top. I guess I should have uh, watched the mission. Damn it. Oh my god, this guy's fast. Oh, 
Let's go. Oh god. Let's go. That was actually perfect. I'll be taking your metal shards, please. Let's listen to this. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a... What a shot. Magic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code-breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was... Alright, I'm stopping it. I think this is the wrong way, so... Whoops. So we're just gonna go towards our, our objective. It should be literally right out here somewhere. Oh, this is just getting crazier and crazier. Initiating playback. This is it. It's so back. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life we call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. Oh, snap. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement 
from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. Oh my god, it's this is crazy. Dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Wow. I'm speechless. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. So she's a clone. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo. The Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. My god, bro, that is... That is crazy. I am legitimately speechless. Wow. Keep that for later. Oh my god, this game is so good and it just keeps getting better. Intruder! Get her! Get over what here! Do do? Don't die now. Oh god. Come on! Did we get through? Thank you, oh, come on. Kill me. Oh, snap. Get out of here. You provoke the I have to hit him. Get out of here. No. Oh, God. These guys are... Powerful. Oh, snap. Oh, God. I just Dark Souls panic rolled my way out of that. Get out of here with your stupid firecrackers. You know what? Let's give him... That's not what I wanted. Oh god, that's definitely not what I wanted. How do I shoot this thing? Oh, I have to aim it? Let's go! Fight fire with fire, they say, right? Uh, yep, I don't want that anymore. Power's down. <laughs> Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. Okay, I didn't want to pick this up, but I have to just so that I can search this guy. Man, I gotta get health again. No, get out of here. I will admit. Traveling light. I will admit. That thing was pretty strong. Oh, what do we have here? A bunch of stuff. I need all the shrooms I could get. Is that everything? I think that might be everything. Right, there's more shrooms right there, but... Okay, yeah, there's nothing. 
So let's go down, grab these real quick, and then we'll progress even further. It's a lot of health that they're giving me. So I'm almost certain there's going to be some hard enemy type at some point. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right con There's a part missing. Maybe there's hey, a storage area nearby. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install... Alright, I'm not trying to listen to it. Okay, so I'm missing a part, it said. Secure encryption port with holographic display. Data shows require settings for... Hollow locks. I think this is the part that's missing. Okay. She said that maybe there's like a storage facility or something around here. Did I already look this up? Yeah. Okay, so I gotta find it. Uh, blast door heavily shielded, seal integrity maintained. Hmm. Uh, restore power to the door. How, though? I don't want to just move things around, not really knowing what I'm supposed to do. Because there's what, six of them? Five of them? Is, does this, does it give me more info here? Let me see. Uh, yeah, it just says restore power. Does it do something if it's right? Honestly, I don't know. Oh. Left, up, left, down. Left, up, left, down. Then what's the last one? Right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Okay, and the door is the one that's literally right around the corner. I'm assuming it is. Why is Aloy's hair blowing and we're indoors? Curious. Is there anything in here? No. I wanted to know first before I climbed up the stairs because... Highly doubt I'm going to be coming back here anytime soon. Pick up. Found one. Looks intact. And then there's something over here on the other side too. Awesome. That's what this is for? Yep. That should do the trick. All right, so this is up this is no it's not so it's up so left down right up left down this one is right and this one is down did that not work up left down, right up. Huh. Unless it's backwards. So, up. This one should be right then. This one should still be down. Then left. And there was the last one up. 
So let's try that. Up. Huh. Ah, uh, it's gotta be. Oh, it. It's upside down. Alright, so let me see. So the first one is down, then. And then. Then left. Then up. Okay, so that was, so then right and then down. It's gotta be it. And then this one's down, I think I said. It. There we go. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. This should definitely be interesting. Where's the door again? Okay, got it. Oh, snap. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. So I have to fight these guys then, right? Oh no! Let's go! Get out of here! Go away! Oh snap! Go away! Did she? Did he seriously still hit me? Got him. All right, let's go ahead and heal as much as possible. Oh God, I didn't realize there was more. Come on. Come on, baby, let's do this. God, these guys hit hard, man. Oh no! Man, why is there so many of them? Got them. I can't see where they're at. Where is he? Oh! I still can't see. You're finished. Why can't I see him at all? No, come on. I need to get up there, man. Because I really can't see. Actually, I can see a little better from here. Got him. That's the last one. That was good. Or not. To me! Oh no 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 no. Oh god, man, this is gonna be bad. It doesn't make it easier that I can't see a thing over here. Come on. Really? Get away from me! Ugh. So, definitely have a big fight on our hands. I'm gonna try to hit that first guy. 
with on, on his uh what is it called oh, I have to do this all over again oh okay God. All bad. Let's go. Heal, damn it. It is done. This one's going to be hard. I think I had a better chance the first time around can I do this right off the bat from stealth okay handy we need to mark as many people as possible right now. He's dead. I need to do this from stealth for as long as possible. Just like that. Okay. Hold up. Is he facing away from me? Come on. Let's go. Oh God, oh God. All right, let's go ahead and tag these guys. Because this is going to bite me in the ass in a little bit if I don't. We got one of them. Oh, snap. That guy is really hard to see. you sit still? Alright, well at least he's dead. Oh, snap. No, get away, get away, get away, get away. So far, so good. I think we just got one left. I need to hit this from stealth. Alright, where's homeboy at? Oh, get out of here. Why is it not hitting him? It's about time. Alright, this is where more of them come, so I gotta... I gotta stay stealth. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Run! My god, dude, this is hard. Did 
did I kill him? No! Oh my god, this is scary, dude. I don't know where I'm gonna hide. I gotta kill that one guy. Cool. There's one guy over here by himself. I might be able to take him out. Hold up. Oh, get out of here. Oh my god. This is all bad. Alright, he's dead. Get out of here! Oh. For a moment, anyway. Oh my God. You have to find Gaia. I will eventually. Right now, I got something else I gotta do, and that is to get healing supplies. Cause I swear that fight was absolutely intense. Actually, you know what? Uh. Well, I don't even need to do that. What am I doing? Is there is there any health? I don't see any more. Health. There's a couple, but I mean realistically not that many. Did I search this guy before? I did now. Let me search this real quick. Hello, I'm Margo Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon. But hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So... Yes, time to get started. Let's do this. Okay, that's cool. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. That's... That's a good point, but... 
Man, oh, this is insane. Like, I don't even have words to put into place everything that I've been hearing so far. It's just blowing me away. Like, we knew we were going to die, but we still thought of our the future of life in general. Oh, these are the guys that killed earlier. Cool. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way in. More eclipse. Careful now. How are they ahead of me? That's what I don't understand. Uh, Let's make some more of these babies. Luckily, I have... I have enough to make a lot. Oh god, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Okay, I am not looking forward to this. Or do I even have to attack them? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm probably going to have to eventually, though. I have to stay in stealth for a little bit longer, though. Is there anything over here? Welcome to Apollo. Oh, God. The collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Wow. Okay, I actually have an idea. Uh, pouches. Traps pouch. Sharpshooter. Yeah. This one. I need to... I need raccoon bone. But I should be able to... Carry more. Yep, five more. I can't even make any more of those. So let's go back to that. And we'll scan this. And I think there was another one downstairs. Yep, right there. Let's take a look around real quick before we go anywhere, just in case there's any more. Uh, now nah, we're good. 
So it looks like we're going into battle again. Thirty headshots, nice. He never saw it coming. All right, I'm trying to see who else I could hit before I go in. I might be able to hit him if I could get him at a good angle. Just like that. Perfect. So, how many's left? Just, uh, four? I think that's all of them. I think there's four left. I gotta be careful, though, obviously, because these guys, they are not, they are not fun. I can't spare the weight. Okay. Is there... There's none up top either. I think this guy's coming in this direction. That was flawless. Stand still, so I can off you. Wait a minute. What a shot. What is this guy doing? Is he going around? He is. Oh god, this guy is a heavy machiner. Okay. Woo! What should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Yep, I am. But first, I got a lot of looting to do. Cause I just offed a lot of people in a very strategic way that I'm very proud of for the first time ever stealth worked for me <laughs> in this game in particular of course did I already search him I did oh man I was hoping I could jump over there did I search this guy I did you know what I'm going to go ahead and use one. There we go. Now I'm back to full capacity. How do I get over there? It's going to make me go all the way around, isn't it? Okay, this should be it. Excuse me, coming through. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some more. Welcome oh. to Hades. Oh, Zero this is Hades. Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the? What? Self-defense? crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia. 200 years from now, and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. What are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? 
Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. So welcome to Hades. Welcome to the void. That's intense. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Will do. All of this is absolutely mind blown. I st I can't wrap my mind around it. Can you imagine if something like this was to happen in real life? That'd be absolutely insane. Looks like the only way onwards. We're still missing a bunch of biomes, aren't we? Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances. But, as one of the authors of the Accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development. All of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So. Si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. So this is the Noah's Ark of the project. Preserve the human genome. Are these what I what I think they are? Artificial wounds. Oh, that's Machines creepy. To spawn a new generation of human beings. That's pretty disturbing, to say the least. It's, I mean, in this specific situation, I guess it wouldn't be immoral. Since they're facing literal mass ex extinction. But wouldn't, in general, uh, cloning and stuff like that be immoral? I don't know. I'd like to hear from you guys on that. I don't know how I feel about the whole situation, to be honest. But anyways, let's see. Cradle 
facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. What? How does she know what an office is, though? Let me see here. I want to search like all the cracks and crevices and stuff, though, just in case there's like the the mushrooms, the healing mushrooms. Cause if we get attacked again, man, it could it could get bad. I'm not trying to die here over and over again. Us would benefit from antilopene morphologies, though caprid forms show superior load bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalia morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the quaternary extinction some event. Some component oh? got removed. And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... What? That is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? So she has the capability to feel? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. So she has the capability to feel. Emotions. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... She's nervous. Guy, there's nothing left out there. <clears throat> You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. What? She didn't even finish the sentence. Oh my god, bro. She has the capability to feel human emotions. At least that's what I'm getting out of it, you know? Here goes another one. Odyssey has failed. Alright, well I'm here, but let me... At least scan these things real quick before I hold up. No room. All right, now let's do this. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact. Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. She has really pretty eyes. And to grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? That's a great question. 
but he's he doesn't seem like he's wrong. Oh snap. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Oh snap. Oh god. That is not good at all. Still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. 